Hello dear students. Today I am going to take up Snapshot of a Dog by James Grover Thurber. Before we start the lesson, let's look into about the author. Let's see a little bit about him. James Grover Thurber was an American writer. He was born on 8 December 1894 at Columbus in the state of Ohio, the United States of America. <coughs> he was a well-known cartoonist, an American author and also a journalist as well as celebrated wit. Wit means humorist. And he was best known for his cartoons and short stories. Published these cartoons and short stories published and collected in his numerous books. During his childhood day, he had an accident and which caused which caused him to lose his eyesight so he his service was rejected in the first world war after that he was worked as a clerk for some time but later he became a journalist and artist so snapshot of a dog is taken from the new yorker magazine and in this magazine, Thurber also worked as uh, associated for many years. So, what will you get when you are seeing these, this title? You know, snapshot of a dog. You obviously find that this lesson or essay speaks about the dog because it's it mentioned there clearly a snapshot of a dog. Okay, what does it mean snapshot? A photo, isn't it? So in these days, everyone has a camera or a mobile. So taking selfie is a simple hobby. And here the author speaks about the beautiful memories of his pet, his pet dog. Don't you have many pets or a, even a single pet? Like cat, dog, many likes, a small, uh, what's that? Uh, mouse many people likes mouse they keep mouse as a pet so here the author sp speaks about speaks about his dog he recalls the beautiful memories of his beloved dog so let's go to the lesson. I ran across a dim photograph of him the other day. He has been dead 25 years. So the author came accidentally to the dim photograph of the dog. And certainly you came to know that dog is no more. The dog was passed. 24, 25 years ago itself. Sometimes when we are searching things, we also, we have, uh, we come across of our old photographs or old things. If you are searching or looking into the old, old port list, how shall I say? old uh, uh, packed up things you know 
usually you put it, uh, you put up into the uh, inside the racks and when you are going through it you suddenly find some things which which makes you to go back or which makes you remember <coughs> some things which you had a few years ago or a many years ago so here the author remembers his dog his pet what is his name his name was rex and the name was given to that dog by author's two brothers and author himself and he was a bull terrier <coughs> what is mean bull terrier it's a, one kind of a breed dog breed tali so now mention few breeds i i'm sure you know many i'm going to mention some of here listen german shepherd bulldog labrador pomeranian dalmatian so now you mention other okay he had one brindle eye that sometimes made him look like a clown and sometimes reminded you of a politician with derby hat and cigar so now <coughs> this rex was a bull terrier he was a mixture of bulldog and terrier an american bull terrier we used to say proudly none or your english bulls so they the author and his brothers were took proud in him he had one brindle eye brindle eye means the mix the brindle means mixture of color colors and strips on that like you can you may have you may have seen uh, some animals especially like cows you know they have the uh, double colors brownish or tannish color on their back so this is brindle so this dog rex had brindle eye that some that brindle eye made him look like a clown <coughs> where can you see clown in a circus isn't it and sometimes it made him like a politician with a derby hat derby hat like a hat have you know holding the have uh, having the uh, usually using the european men when they are uh, horse riding and that big cigar <coughs> the rest of him was white except for a brindle saddle and a brindle stocking on a hind leg so he was a white only his i had a brindle one i had a brindle color brindle brindle men uh, mixed color with stripes or a shades and a brindle stocking on a, on a hind leg a brindle saddle saddle you know where can you see on which animal usually the saddle put put up on horse <coughs> so i hope you have seen on some uh, pets a uh, small uh, dogs they using a uh, saddle you know to carry them or to pull them away so and also a brindle stocking on a hind leg back side back leg nevertheless doesn't matter whether it whether rex has a brindle high brindle stocking on her hind leg but he has a, he was was a noble there was something nobility about him he was now the author expresses explains here uh, his features the dog's features he was big and muscular and beautifully ma made so that means the dog is strong and has a good height 
He never lost his dignity even when trying to accomplish the extravagant task my brother and I used to set for him. So whatever they have given the task like uh, bring a ball or something special task, the dog never failed. <coughs> whatever they had given, he accomplished, he finished it. One of these One of these was the bringing of a 10 foot wooden rail into the yard through the back gate. So, so the, now the author says that he had given many tasks, no? So one of the tasks, he speaks about one of the tasks which is that bringing a 10 foot wooden rail into the yard through the back gate you know usually do you uh, those who live in the villas they know what's the ba uh, back gate this is a we would say in kanna hittalu hittal hittalina kade bagilu gate you know so back side gate <coughs> so the task was to bring the 10 foot wooden rail into the yard yard angala so backside yard the dog had to bring the 10 foot long wooden rail so what does he do we would throw it out into the alley and tell him to get it alley a narrow passage a narrow path so these boys what were they, they doing they were simply throwing out that wooden rail and asked the dog to bring it back. Rex, Rex was as powerful as a wrestler. I hope uh, many boys as well as girls would have seen wrestling in some point or uh, some glance. Hopefully they have seen. So Rex was uh, as powerful as a wrestler. So how is a wrestler? He he is a strong no wrestler he has a muscles he need to be strong to fight with other wrestler so the author compare compare rex to the wrestler rex was as powerful as a wrestler and he would catch the rail at the balance when they when these boys throwing this rail wooden rail what do the rex was <coughs> doing the rex ca catches the rail at the balance lift it clear of the ground and trot with great confidence toward the gate trot means you know walking slowly with two legs uh, le uh, haven't you seen these uh, horse horse you know walking slowly while walking uh, while horse walking slowly you can see it's it's different while it is running its pace is very fast and the vega it runs very faster but while walking tuk, 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 no so so uh, in this way rex was trotting with great confidence toward the gate of course the gate being only four feet wide the, ga <coughs> the gate was four feet wide <coughs> <coughs> he couldn't bring the rail in broadside other direction he could not bring the uh, though the gate was four feet wide but he could not bring the rail in another direction he found out that when he got a few terrific jaws but he wouldn't give up. It wasn't easy though. You know even when bringing that uh, wooden rail. A 10 feet long wooden rail. He, he was getting a terrific jolts. Jolts mean what? Shakes. Shakes. But he wouldn't give up. He was such a determined, strong, confident dog. So... He, he never left 
the work unfinished the task assigned which was assigned to him by the author and his brothers he got a great wag wagging satisfaction out of his work he finally figured out how to do it by dragging the rail holding on to one end growling so finally he learned how to bring even though he he was getting that terrific shakes he easily didn't give up and at last he succeeded to figure out how to bring the rail to the place Dra dragging he brought that rail by dragging holding holding on to one place one end of that uh, that thing i mean that rail growling growling glittering a low low glittering sound you know like uh, like dogs sometimes they are doing grrr, grrr, <laughs> growling glittering sound uh, when they are anger or a hostility when they feel hostility a style or a anger so like growling with growling he was dragging that rail and later he got a great wagging satisfaction out of his work when the task is done he was so happy and how does it he how does it showed that happiness by wagging his tail he was a tremendous fighter but he never started fights that's an interesting thing though he was a tremendous fighter that's its nature you know bull terrier's nature or a specific feature that it it should be a fighter it is a fighter but here rex the author highlights its speciality special feature that he never started fights he never went for a dog's throat but for one of its ears but rex was special you know he never went for usually what does our uh, dog do how do they behave when they quarrel with the other dogs they simply jump on to other dogs neck or a throat no but here this rex is exceptional <coughs> he never went for dog's throat but instead he held other dog's ears it's like a it's like a in primary school teacher is holding your ears you know like a teacher teaching a lesson so so in that in that manner rex was holding other dogs ears he would get his grip close his eyes and hold on he would not easily let that grip he could hold on for hours see he could hold he would he would not leave easily that grip on other other dogs were on ears his longest fight lasted from dusk to almost pitch dark one sunday so his he could hold hold other dogs ears for long time for hours so his longest fight was happened in one sunday happened on one sunday it started from dusk dusk nearly sun sunset twilight to almost pitch dark it was fought with the large snarly nondescript belonging to a large colored man his longest fight was lasted from dusk sunset sunset dusk means sunset or twilight 
What's the opposite word of uh, dusk? Dawn. Very good. It was fought in East Main Street in Columbus with a large, snarly, nondescript. It was fought with the it was fought in the East Main Street in Columbus. See that the sentence is missing here. But if you have a reader textbook, you can check into your book. Okay. Kindly check into your book reader. When Rex finally got his ear grip, the brief whirlwind, snarling turned to screeching. It was frightening to listen to and to watch. It was difficult, you know, to the dog which was caught by, by Rex was screeching. Screeching why? Because of pain. So that much strong was Rex. His holding was very difficult to other dogs. Whirlwind. Whirlwind means? Whirlwind means tornado. Tornado. Tornado you know. So it was frightening to listen to and to watch because the dog, the another dog, which was crying so painfully and screeching, it was pretty difficult to see, to see and to listen the scenario. <coughs> For today, this is enough. Just go through the lesson and read and understand it. Thank you.